Today we are going to go over the Camp Chef Everest 2X. It's the camp stove we've been using for the last two, maybe three years. We're camping down in Southern Oregon on this gorgeous reservoir. Let's go get the stove and set it up. This time we are camping in our rooftop tent and we are actually putting our battery box that Greg just built to use. It's catching some rays right now and charging it up. This is the Everest 2X. As you can see, there is no handles on the sides, but there is one underneath. Just grab it and go set it up. Of course, it fits perfectly on the picnic table. Inside, you will find the connector for the propane. This will be hooked up to your little green bottles. It has a, on the side here. You're gonna jam it in. <laughs> We don't actually use this method. We actually bought a one pound refillable propane tank. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive when you first buy it, but filling it up, it definitely is more cost efficient than buying a bunch of these. And of course, I guess you can fill it, refill these, but it's a little bit sketchy. This is meant to be refilled. The little green ones are not. If you're wanting to use a larger can, you're gonna to need to get an adapter. You could find ones that will hook up to the original connection, or you can find one that will connect directly to your stove. They have the same ends. The stove has windscreens, and the nice feature about that is they have spots where you can put them in, and then the locks themselves latch on so they will stay in place. We are using a 10 and a half inch pan. It has nicely bent from an Amazon dropping it. But if you were going to use a, and it fits really good, but if you're gonna be using a larger pan and you're gonna be smashing up against the windscreen, you can unhook it and adjust it so that take it out, out of the way. And still keep one of the screens up if you need it. But this would expand the space that you have. You can also cook with the lid down. We've actually used our camp oven and had to be creative exactly how it sits on there since it is a little bit bigger and overhangs. One thing to keep in mind is when this is new, this is slippery. So if you're on any sort of incline, this could go slipping off. Why did we upgrade from our old Coleman camp stove? This one is a 20,000 BTU each burner. Our old Coleman had small 10,000 BTU burners. They are quite large in size. It is crazy hot. Another reason why we upgraded was the Coleman had terrible temperature adjustments. The knob on the Coleman would be like, this is low, this is high. Whereas this stove, you're going from low all the way to where you need to go high. Let me show you just how easy it is to adjust the flame. We're gonna get it lit. And when you're cooking something that just needs a little bit of temperature, you can easily adjust it. And then of course, if you need something that's gonna be need full on flame, it's putting out a crazy amount of heat when it's on high. We purchased this at REI, which is a really good thing because when, after we used it for maybe like two times, the regulator stopped working and we took it into them and they replaced the whole unit. So good place to get it at. We've been really happy with the stove. If you're interested in the stove, we'll put links in the description below and go check out this video where we use our camp oven with this stove to make homemade apple crisp. If you want to learn more about us, you can check out ExploreTrekAdventure.com and we'll see you next time.